awesome having you uh, amish bhai with us uh, fast one of the fastest selling authors in the world uh, a great father also a wonderful uh, patron for yuva who has come and inspired municipal school children teachers many times uh, i think his knowledge about ancient india and the wisdom of vedas is something that we all dream of uh, welcome welcome and thank you for making us proud by leading the nehru center and creating such a positive narrative about india especially in this tough times amish bhai so we welcome you to stronger together uh, dilip piramal uh, has been uh, one of the top most industrialists and philanthropists uh, that i have come across his uh, he i would say he truly truly genuinely uh, each drinks bleeds india yani bahut kam industrialists mein mila ho jinko rashtra ke liye itna prem hai he has absolutely helped us you know empower thousands of children with better bathrooms water facilities smart classrooms uh, again also a wonderful father i had the privilege to knowing his family i welcome you uh, mr piramal for this awesome electrifying series of uh, stronger together this is uh, session 1 and i can't think of two better people to kick this off uh, the whole point of this uh, series is to inspire lots of other philanthropists young people making people believe that they can do and bring a positive change in this difficult times so what i have done uh, uh, dilip bhai and amish bhai is i have reached out to hundreds of students uh, hundreds of youth and come up with a few questions which i would love to ask the both of you but before i jump into questions i would just love your opening uh, remarks about stronger together and what are you thinking these days amish uh no i think the the theme is uh, apt and perfect for the situation uh, that we are in uh you know uh, 2020 uh, one of the things our ancestors used to say that any uh, any process of change uh, also has a lot of uh, it's never easy right uh, so any process of change has pain in it as well so you would have seen uh, you know there is that famous uh, example that's told to us a caterpillar which is in the pupa yeah. when it becomes a butterfly it has to come out of the pupa there's a small hole at the top of the pupa you know that is hard and the caterpillar which has become a butterfly has to squeeze through that small hole to come out it's a very very painful process yeah now you can be a little kind and make that hole bigger right so the cat so the butterfly will come out easily but if you do that the process of squeezing that painful process actually takes all the because the pupa has liquid inside takes the liquid out of the wings so it comes out its wings are strong right but if you make it easy when it comes out then the the wings will still have liquid in it it will not be strong it will not be able to fly so actually you make it weaker and it will die right so there is a often there is a uh, there is a purpose to pain to uh, to difficulties because you emerge stronger on the other side just by a, a you know a, st- uh, a interstellar hair breath we missed a comet also you know that had come close yes so pandemic you know we, uh, in india ye side se cyclone aaya fir dusre side se cyclone aaya fir locus aaye fir earthquake kya ho kya raha hai right uh, but this entire process is this this pain actually leads us to a better future that's the way i see it right but the only way we will emerge in a better future is if we are strong you see so many countries where this difficult year has caused so much internal division mm. uh, that they will they will emerge weaker out of this year uh, so i think for india that is the most important thing uh, that we will emerge stronger out of this very very difficult year only if we are together so i think the theme is absolutely perfect fantastic amazing i think and just like the butterfly gets stronger and gets strong wing i think india will get those wings and fly yes uh, thank you for kicking that off uh, dilip bhai any of your initial thoughts reactions 
Well, my first reaction is that I'm, I always learn from Amish, you know. He's such a uh, learned person. He's much younger than me. I mean, I'm an old man. So, but even this whole example of the caterpillar and becoming a butterfly, it's just fantastic. So, well, this is such an unprecedented uh, event that uh, nobody had uh, forecasted and by the way, for all the astrologers, I wonder what they have to say because uh, this is an, sort of something which happens in once in a century, literally. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't think anybody had forecast it. So uh, I don't know how what is going to happen. I mean, I'm not the type who will just say that, okay, we are going to come out great and all. I hope we will. And uh, But... Uh, let us see. We don't know also. I mean, the pandemic has just started. We don't know how it's going to shape out, what's, how long it is going to last, whether there are going to be, be second wave, third wave. And uh, But I think uh, so far we are coping quite okay with it, with, given all the resources that India has. You know, we, some people compare that America has done this and Europe has done this and China has done this. Now, China today is a much more advanced country than India is, even uh, economy-wise. And it's a dictatorship, so they can mm. do whatever they want. I mean, they have total control. So, uh, looking at our circumstances, I think we are uh, doing well. And uh, let us see how it pans out. Of course, there's always some learning from any crisis. I mean, you learn much more from a crisis and a failure mm. than... Uh, from success. So, of course, there will be a lot of learning and I'm sure we'll come out of it. Of course, human being is very resilient. India is, I mean, India is, look at the history of India for the last 2,000 years. We have been conquered by so many people. Mm. Even, I think, even after getting independence, I think the real independence of India started only recently. Unfortunately, the initial policies and all, at least I don't agree with that all the economic policies, what we followed, were very confused and not not very really helpful. And that is shown in the poor sort of per capita income of our people. You compare it to anybody from the 50s, like Japan, Korea, and later on, China also has progressed so much. Hmm. So, so far, we have not done so well. I mean, we could have done much better. Our people are... Uh, I mean, well, ultimately, our people are very talented, very intelligent, but then they have, we have a lot of weaknesses also, and that is why we are where we are. And I'm not talking of just uh, 75 years, I'm talking of our entire history. I, I read uh, when so many th- times I read the Mahabharata and or excerpts from there and Ramayana and all, and I feel the Indian character hasn't changed. In 5,000 years, it's chal kapat sab hai. Ekdam bharpur matra mein kuch bada hi hoga. Bilkul. I think, uh, I think jo Amish ne bola ke ye saal all kinds of uh, attacks and all kinds of unique things have happened. It does feel like Mahabharati chal raha hai. So, uh, Amish, I would quickly, before I get into questions, I would like to point out one thing that uh, Dilip Bhai lives in Varli, which is the highest affected uh, part, not just in Bombay, but in India. So he's in the middle of the storm. So we know he's going to come out of uh, on top uh, much better than others. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I would like to... <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> yes. So I would love to get into questions. And I would love for you guys to treat these questions as kind of like a... A rapid fire, maybe a minute, a uh, minute and a half on each one to keep it more interesting. Uh, and we'll go, uh, uh, we'll go with age. So we'll have Amish go first. And Dilip Bhai is younger than, young at heart, more younger than both of us. <laughs> His friends are people like me and people younger than me and they get along great with him. So uh, here goes the first question. Okay. So the first question is, uh, who has been a real life hero or someone that you admire a lot? Two men. Uh, my uh, uh, 
my uh, father in law uh, late dr manoj vyas he is the father of my ex wife uh, manoj vyas i uh, dr manoj vyas i respect him a great deal and uh, my uh, brother in law the late himanshu roy he is an ips officer the uh, he was uh, uh, the husband of my elder sister uh, both of them uh, uh, they had all the qualities i admire you know the very honorable very dignified uh solid responsible uh you know uh, and even today i still often before any big decision i i still think what would they think of it uh, wow. i still like to make them proud yeah yeah so i look up to them a great deal amazing amazing kind of like how arjun was looking up to krishna it seems like they are still there they are from yeah <laughs> dilip bhai well I never had any great heroes uh, when I was young. I think my first hero was Sunil Gavaskar, <laughs> and I really like to talk about him because you know, and I like to take people back to the nine, 1971 uh. Uh, when he made his debut, and India was in the re- in the real pits in those days. I mean, mm. Bangladesh happened in December 71, so that was a great event. But otherwise, if you saw India, there was. inflation was something like later on uh, you know in the 75 period 73 to 75 period prior to the emergency inflation was about 30% per annum for 3 years and uh, and there was so much corruption there was smuggling was rampant i remember in those days the rate of the dollar official rate of the dollar was 8 rupees and there was to be a parallel rate which was 70% more than that 13 14 rupees so everything was illegal in our uh, indian economy black money was flourishing so and and then in 1965 we had these uh, food shortage in india if you you all are probably not born then but oh, yeah. you would have learned in the america's end food in pl 480 it was called yeah. public law 480 it was called that means free food used to come hmm. and you know we have this saying hand to mouth that this Should guy's hand to mouth means how does that phrase come that the straight the food comes in your hand and it goes to your mouth you're so hungry and there's so little you're starving so the i mean the humiliation that india had was uh, shipped to mouth i mean can you imagine a country like india the second largest con- populated country in the world that cannot feed itself so we had in less than 20 years of independence we had reached that stage it was, there was so much of myth governance and so in that time that was the only bright spark that an indian player an indian team won in uh, west indies or won a series for the first time and in england in the west indies series was in january to march must be and then in june july august they went to england and won the series there and of course uh, and sunil kavaska was so dedicated so serious committed to his work so he was a hero absolutely then uh, i came in in the 80s 90s i came in close contact with rahul bajaj and i saw his dedication to his work so i really admired him and today i find that our prime minister narendra modi he is such a committed dedicated person and he i mean i empathize so much with him he is first of all he is not corrupt you know all our indian leaders were either corrupt either financially or uh, i mean there's so many other forms of corruption you know like uh, not being looking at the political end so i mean vp singh was such a great financially he was so honest but otherwise he would do anything for his own purpose i mean he came in he was a protege of sanjay gandhi who was a main protagonist of the emergency so and he called himself an honest guy how can you do that you know i mean you have to be ethically honest also it's not only financially honest I mean, he carried that luggage, you know, that he's financially he was impeccable. I mean, he wouldn't take a 
कोल्ड ड्रिंक फ्रॉम एनी बिजनेसमैन और इवन अटेंड अ बिजनेस मीटिंग इट्स नहीं मैं किसी का कुछ हॉस्पिटैलिटी नहीं लेता एंड ऑल यू नो बट अदरवाइज एनीवे सो नरेंद्र मोदी इज सच अ डेडिकेटेड पर्सन ही वर्क्स डे एंड नाइट फॉर द कंट्री एंड एब्सोल्युटली क्लीन एंड आई थिंक इंडिया हैज डेफिनेटली प्रोग्रेस and we are our own civilization for the first time we are realizing what is an indian civilization and we are proud to say in, that we are indian and he speaks in hindi and he is a real he is a actual man of the earth man of the soil aapne teeno legends ki baat kar di cricket ka legend sunil gavaskar industry ka legend uh, mr bajaj और पोलिटिशियंस और लीडरशिप का लेजेंड मिस्टर मोदी सो वी आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ अस कंकर विद यू विद दोस थ्री हीरोज अभी हमारे जैसे का हीरो भी तो ऐसा ही होना चाहिए ना और 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 लिटरेचर और विजडम का 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 लेजेंड अमित त्रिपाठी साहब बिल्कुल बिल्कुल फॉर द सेकंड क्वेश्चन अमित सम ऑफ द किड्स आस्क्ड दैट यू नो अ सिंपल थैंक यू कैन गो अ लॉन्ग वे right if you just say thank you to your parents thank you to your teachers uh thank you that you have food uh we somehow see that uh there is a culture where people criticize complain crib a lot at all levels so how do we create this culture of gratitude especially in our education system or just uh in people in general so i think uh, it is to be realized that it's in our own interest to have uh, gratitude you know if you are uh, i'm not saying sometimes yes anger may be justified sometimes complaints may be justified but you know uh, one is seeing that and we are importing this culture from the west it's there in some of the you know universities you know people and so the people who are in western universities are among the most privileged anywhere on earth they are the most privileged anywhere in the history of humanity and they complain so much you know <laughs> and when you when you hear them you say boss what are you complaining about do you realize how privileged your life is and how much other people suffer so a lot of gratefulness is not what uh, you know uh, god or the universe has blessed you with it's your attitude you know and uh, if you have a grateful attitude uh then you yourself become happier and more positive and then you will attract uh, you know uh, positive people around you and therefore you will achieve more things you know but in my mind you are a wonderful uh, example of this you are always smiling you always have this wonderful positive uh, attitude because of that you can get many people to come and support you i mean i am i am really really busy right now i have a new book launch coming in 10 days i have the yoga day programs you know the high commission work i am really busy but i somehow still cannot find myself saying no to you right imagine if you were the sort who was complaining and cribbing all the time are i am doing so much charity i am doing so much good work for people why can't people support me you won't find people wanting to support you know that but the fact that you are a smiling positive person who is grateful for you know the help that you have received means that you get even more people wanting to help you so actually it is in your own selfish interest to be grateful and positive you attract more people like that who will want to work with one of those you know those uh, you know those western students who are complaining all the time you hear them you feel like yaar mujhe maaf karo you know i don't want to hear you only because there's just so much negative energy pouring out right but you are not like that at all that's the entire point how gratefulness makes you a better person and then you attract better people around you thank you i think i have never heard anyone explain gratitude uh, in that way where it is for your own good for your own happiness and it's an attitude i think can i, uh, can I say something on this yes please i i think this matter is much more complicated and gratitude when you said create a culture so in our culture we have a culture of karma fatalism ki today whatever we are is the result of our previous past and actually people it is imbibed in our people and uh, and when i say it is imbibed all these things i refer more to the uneducated people because you know they are the people who are not educated who who have not read much and they are very poor but yet it is part of their uh, mental makeup 
इट इज पार्ट ऑफ देयर जनरल मेकअप सो दैट फर्टिलिज्म इज देयर कि भाई हमारे भाग्य में जो है वो है सो दैट एनवी इज नॉट सो मच देयर व्हाट कुड हैव बीन अदरवाइज यू नो व्हाट लाइक लॉट ऑफ फॉरेन कंट्रीज पीपल फील दैट विद सो मच ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी एंड ऑल हाउ डू आई मीन व्हाई इज देयर अ रेवोल्यूशन एंड ऑल बट दैट इज बिकॉज़ अ in our homes in our people they say bhai jo bhi hai sab ka apna apna karm hai apna bhagya hai so that can be positive that can be and it can have positive effect negative effect but that is what is there and otherwise i think a feeling of gratitude would not really come in when you find you know uh, i relate to what anish is saying that there is uh, so much of the youths always will complain and they have to you know because they can see the inequalities and in a poor country like india i mean there is mo- much more to complain because you can see a lot of people uh, living well nowadays the films in fact you'll see that there are hardly any films about uh, poverty or the poor people i would say 80 to 90% of the films depict only wealth and the good life glorified life whether it's violence or even for crime and all it's always the uh, gundas are all these dons from uh dubai and all and living very luxuriously and so uh uh so th- people see all that how the rich people live and uh, it is there i mean as india progresses we are doing much better than we have ever done before economically but then our population is also very large it's only maybe 10% of the people who are really uh, living a good standard of life so uh, it's fairly complicated and of course if you are if you have a feeling of gratitude you are always uh, it's a very positive attitude you cannot be gratitude and positivity go together if you are if you have a negative attitude in life obviously you are complaining all the time and uh, if you are positive your gratitude you see what you have rather than what you do not have then you are happier much happier it's a question of uh, happiness also you know like lot of people say that he doesn't keep me happy or she doesn't keep me happy and you know but ultimately happiness is within oneself the moment a person has to depend on others for their happiness i mean it it is a bit of a setback it is a handicap so that feeling of gratitude is very very important to see what they have i mean i tell my family in this period that we are so lucky we have a large house so not going out also uh, i mean today there are so much of comfort i was even in fact talking to rahul bajaj the other day i said today this is really socialism this uh, lockout is a period of socialism that everyone you, all you are doing is even the richest person is just eating food maybe he might get a slightly better food but otherwise is eating food at home and watching television which today i mean even a common man can do except that we have a large, we have larger houses so there is that claustrophobia is not there but otherwise there has never been a more uh, socialist period of life like i have not i have not gone out of my apartment i am not sat in a car nothing i have not i am hardly using three or four pair of clothes i mean i have one for the tv like now and otherwise i'm just happy with my two set of clothes <laughs> so that's i i think uh, i think that's absolutely wonderful and i've been hearing from a lot of my friends ke hum log upar shirt pehnte niche to chaddi hoti hai you know we can relax and uh, do this and i i agree this is a great period to socialize as well and i like the point you made about uh, happiness to aapki should not be dependent on others it should be your own responsibility uh amish i want to, i want you to share a few things because you bring an amazing perspective about philanthropy through the lens of india hmm. what who do you think is actually the beneficiary and how do you decode philanthropy and what do you think the second part of the question is what do you think right now uh during covid pandemic you know there's all kinds of pp karo uh, you know mask sanitizer soaps do uh uh e learning karo ye karo wo karo according to what is the most important thing that philanthropists in india should focus on right now 
Uh, one of the things you yeah, have spoken of uh, this before that the perspective in the Indian approach to charity is that the person receiving charity is doing a favor to the person giving charity because in our uh, in our way of life it's all about uh, you know the karmic balance sheet right if someone helps us uh, then we have taken on a debt a rin on our on our uh, karmic balance sheet uh, i our ancestors didn't use the term karmic balance sheet i'm just using it to make it understandable okay so we take a rin a debt and the only way we can wipe it out is if we help others or return that debt you know to so when you're actually giving charity you are actually wiping out karmic debt and the purpose of our spiritual way is to get release from the cycle of rebirths and the only way way you'll get release from the cycle of rebirths is if you actually wipe out all your debt so therefore you have to realize that when we give charity to someone the person receiving charity is taking on a debt on his soul so he is doing us a favor you know so we should be grateful that he is allowing us to help him we should be humble we shouldn't have an attitude of you know mera photo leke akbar mein chapo i am such a good man right uh, and that is the attitude that comes in from our ancient uh, perspective of how we look at uh, dharma and charity which is why it uh, you know what uh, vidur uh, ji had said in the mahabharat he said this wonderful line that there are uh, two ways to waste money one is by giving charity to the unworthy because if you're giving charity to the unworthy you're probably causing damage like if you're giving money to a uh, to a druggy for example you're causing damage correct okay. so then actually that doesn't help wipe out your karmic debt you actually take on more damage right so one way of wasting money is if you give charity to the unworthy the second way of wasting money is if you don't give charity to the worthy right? mm. uh, that is the second way of wasting money right so you must find people and you must help them in the way that genuinely helps them not just ki check sign kar diya okay so if you have from that perspective then that guides into what kind of charity we should do who am i to tell philanthropists what they should do but in a situation like this where there is so much locus have caused uh, tremendous damage to farmers in rajasthan and uh, punjab and haryana uh, the cyclone caused tremendous damage in uh, west bengal and odisha uh you know the pandemic uh, you know so many migrants have gone back so many poor people don't have a job so they don't have food to eat mm-hmm. you know uh so annadana can be one of the best uh, charities to give there are so many children yes. who are out of schools they will suffer for the rest of their life so what can you do to help them you know online earning as you said all of us will find our own way right but the point is that if one has to realize a time of massive crisis like this is a time when we have to do even more charity but in the indian dharmic way you have to do it quietly even your left hand should not know what your right hand is doing do it quietly because you want to wipe debt of your karmic uh, balance sheet not because we want our picture in a newspaper what a beautiful answer wiping of the karmic balance sheet i think uh, that should be the tagline for all philanthropists or one thing you mentioned about annadana i think uh, could not agree more with you especially in this time we interviewed about 2000 students mm-hmm. and teachers from across 14 states we have schools in about uh, all 40 cities in these states and and we thought that these kids in municipal schools will tell us ke bhaiya hame aap you know thoda tablet de dijiye ya laptop de dijiye taki hum ghar pe pad sake you know what lot of these kids said iske hame khana chahiye because mid day meals are shut they used to get their main the main nutritious meal was in school at yes. lunch time abo shut ho gaya they are not getting the nutritious meal for the day and this is this is uh, so much research has shown that if they don't get nutritious food it hurts them through life especially in the growing up years you absolutely right malnutrition mental issues all kinds of other so i think just keeping them healthy and strong in these times is so important especially in a city like bombay where 42% of the city is slums and all these municipal school kids don't know when the school will open up unke papa rickshaw wale the ya dhobi the ya migrant they were a laborer so they are also jobless so they said ke aap hame dry ration dijiye hame sanitizer soaps dijiye taki hum healthy rep rep aaye of course we are uh, keeping our fingers crossed ke bhai 
चार पांच महीने में मैक्सिमम स्कूल्स खुल जाए बिकॉज चिल्ड्रन वॉन्ट टू प्ले विथ ईच अदर दैट्स वेर द रियल एजुकेशन विल है Anyway, I uh, beautiful answer. Thank you, Annadanam, and wiping out your karmic balance sheet. Uh, My karmic debt. Karmic balance debt. your karmic. Balance your karmic balance sheet. Balance your karmic debt. Yes. Dilip, bye. I I agree with uh, Amish on all the points. In one point, I need some clarification. I'll come to that later on. That uh, in India there is so much poverty. Hmm. That. and there is so much inequality ki kitna bhi karo aap kam hai i mean it's a drop much, and i absolutely live by this ki and you might have noticed it also uh, amit that in some of the speeches i have said ki bhi main jo deta hai wo rini hota hai and i actually feel that zyada nahi bolta nahi to lagega ki bhai tum apni prashansa kar rahe ho bahut maan ho aur wo sab hai but i absolutely feel that ki we are i mean the donor is in a fortunate position that he is in that position you know the other person is unfortunate because to receive aid and all is not a very is not a great thing it is it is humiliating to ki bhi mujhe dependent hona padta hai i have to be dependent on somebody else for my basic needs also haath pelana pad raha hai so uh, the donor is in a fortunate position that he can do that so i think whatever you do is not enough there is much more demand there is much more need and whatever one can do one should do so i'll I would not go into that detail i have always been confused about this thing about uh the left hand not knowing the right hand very literally <laughs> because i'm a very practical person is the because i feel that i have been inspired by some examples and i would like to say that in the 1965 war india had with pakistan the chief of the air force was one air chief marshal arjun singh he was a sardar mm-hmm. and in the 90s i read somewhere that he had uh, two homes and he donated one of his homes to the army uh, welfare uh, fund army wives welfare fund or some association of the air force rather and those were his two main assets i believe and he gave half his property away and he said i am i might be slightly inaccurate in some of what i am saying it's a long time and i just read a newspaper article that he had two children and they are well settled they don't need it and even his present home the where he was living he said that after they pass away the couple they will uh, give it away i was so impressed with that you know that that person is virtually giving away all his wealth and recently uh, i am a member of the rotary club and we have various levels of donation so i happen to be a donor in that in a bigger category but along with me there was another person he was a retired business executive of a multinational so this donation was in crores but he also made that contribution and i think for him it was such a bigger part of his uh, wealth so when i see such people and when people i talk about it then others get inspired so i feel that uh, there is uh, value in so you know when you sort of talk about it that people will say ki apne he is talking for his own greatness and his own glory i mean what is all this but there is a positive side also that definitely people get inspired so i'm as i said i'm confused about it it's not that obviously one has to do it quietly with dignity and that and that is not the main purpose but i think that is there in human beings people want to be good and they want to be seen as being good so but and it inspires others so uh I don't think it's all that gupt yaan ya daan hoye zaruri nahi hai. Thoda bahut agar if you can inspire others, get others to join you, it is always it helps to the cause. मैं मैं इसका solution दे देता हूँ कि आप जो दोनों बोल रहे हैं वो दोनों करना चाहिए. Gupt daan भी करो और लोगों को inspire भी करो. The the beauty of the Indian way is ekam sath upra bauza vadanti. That uh, we can have many interpretations. You know, truth is one, but we can. Say it in many different ways. 
so that is the beauty of the indian way there is value in what uh, dilip is saying as well yes the value of inspiration right yeah. see one thing i would like to share amish is that i know you're in the middle of a million things but mm-hmm. in a way you giving your time you giving your knowledge you inspiring so many people to bring a change and do something in a way this is your uh, gupta dan thank you as well so now i will quickly go to the last section of the program where i'm going to ask you guys four questions each okay iska sirf one word ka jawab chahiye okay theek hai just one word okay and uh, rapid fire type rapid fire questions so this is super rapid fire questions so karan jor jaisa nahi hona chahiye ha 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 karan jor gets you into trouble with the rapid fires aur wo wo hamper bhi pahunch jayega aapke ghar pe <laughs> वो हेम्पर में सारी अमीश की बुक्स होगी लेकिन ऑल ऑफ द बुक्स विल बी देयर सो व्हिच इज अ मच बेटर हेम्पर देन द वन ही गिव सो अमीश को क्या दोगे नंबर 1 अरे पर अमीश को क्या दोगे तुम दैट मींस दिलीप यू आर विनिंग बिग डे आई ऑलरेडी हैव योर बुक अमीश के लिए तो आई थिंक गरीब बच्चे खाना खा लेंगे तो उसका उसका सब हेम्पर वेम्पर वसूल हो जाता है दैट इज वट ही आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स ही हैज तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सर ओके अमीश यू फर्स्ट दिलीप भाई प्लीज रैपिड फायर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज योर फेवरेट मूवी ऑल टाइम मूवी शोले शोले दिलीप भाई सर फरोश सर फरोश क्या बात है Question two, and this is from my wife. Who is your favorite actress, heroine? कि हमेशा हीरो का पूछते रहते हो. Madhuri Dixit. Dilip Bhai. अभी मैं एक को कहाँ से चुनूँ? So Sadhana. Sadhana. Okay. क्या बात है? Favorite cricketer. Sunil Gavaskar. उसके अलावा. सुनील गावस्कर माई रियल हीरो सचिन तेंदुलकर इज द हीरो ऑफ द होल कंट्री and kapil dev is the unrecognized because bowlers ko koi nahi samajhta hai but it is the bowlers who win the matches true so and he is a great all rounder so you know in india i mean bowler fast bowler is a very rare thing bilkul bilkul agreed amish ms dhoni uh, you know just captain cool man winner uh, virat kohli love his attitude Uh, and I used to do spin bowling, so Ashwin. I generally like him. Yeah. Or I'm I'm choosing current crop of cricketers. Or I think uh, soon we'll see them in IPL because it's happening for sure. Towards yeah, yeah. the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. We all need it. <laughs> Your favorite food, favorite meal, khichdi. Ooh. Seriously, I love it. Khichdi with ghee and papad and that mitha achar. and bukno which is a, a special type of salt that you get only in our community which is in up bihar kanya kupja uh, community yeah put all of that together aapko mil rahi hai khichdi london mein enough are you getting mil rahi hai mil rahi hai dilip bhai i have to try that bukno i never heard of it oh, yeah, even i like i like the basics so again i i you know i'm not this one word type of thing because in, <laughs> i'm very realistic and there is not but i like all these basics khichdi and uh, one of my best meals is just uh, basic phulka and dahi and with jeera nothing else ah lovely i love that then uh, all these basics are really good i'm i'm a very very basic person मुझे पता नहीं मैं गुजराती हूँ इसलिए पर जब भी दिलीप भाई के घर जाता हूँ मुझे खांडवी और ढोकला तो होता ही है उनका वो स्नैक्स तो होता ही एनी वे आई रियली वॉन्ट थैंक बोथ ऑफ यू आई थिंक दिस वॉज फैंटास्टिक सो मच लर्निंग फैंटास्टिक स्ट्रॉगर टूगेदर सेशन नंबर वन रियली रियली ग्रेटफुल टू बोथ ऑफ यू गाइज एंड आई रियली होप यू एंड योर फैमिली स्टे हेल्थी स्टे सेफ 
and uh, have a fantastic and absolutely fantastic week ahead and thank you thank you again amish thank you thank you bye this was so 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 sweet of you thank you guys thank you absolute pleasure bye guys